Hey guys, let's take a look, look at uh, something that flips people out sometimes, these percent word problems. And, uh, you know, let me, let's go to, again, two ways you can approach these. And I would definitely write these down if I were you. Just get to a point where you just memorize, you don't even think about it, uh, and just, just blindly do it. And after a while, what will happen is your brain will start doing it for you. And uh, you'll be able to knock these things out with no problem. Anyway, let's look at the actual first problem here very real life based. The Chick-fil-A obsessed man had 20 chicken nuggets left. If he started with 80 nuggets, what percent of the original nuggets remains? Okay, let's visualize this. Okay, if you want to, every single time you solve one of these problems, draw a picture, do it. It makes things a lot easier. So here's your picture, okay? He has 20 left, right? Okay, he started with 80, okay? All right? What percent is this? In other words, what percent? I'm questioning what percent is this. You might look at this and go, oh, that's easy. 20 out of 80, 2 out of 8, 1 fourth, that's 25%, no big deal. Okay, yeah, that, that, is, that is the answer. But let's actually do this the algebra way, or let's do a method so you never have to wonder anymore, like, oh, I know that one, but if it's, if it's harder numbers, oh, what do I do, whatever. You don't have to. So let's just look at this, all right? Um, here are two methods. Either one of these is as good as the other. You pick the one you like. I would do a couple of these. Again, do, do one method a few times and do the other method a few times. Just get used to both of them. Okay. If you've got 20, well, here, let's do the first time. The first way is this. You were taking this uh, little paragraph. You're turning this into a little English, like a question first. Then you're going to turn that question into an algebraic equation. That sounds like a lot of work, but you'll get used to it very quickly, okay? In other words, the question you're asking first is this. 20 is what percent of 80? That is the question you're asking, okay? Um, so what you need to do is turn that very nice and neat writing sentence into an algebraic equation. Now, my question for you first is this. Um, you tell me, how do you write, uh, if somebody says to you 93%, how do you write that as a fraction? 93 over 100, right? Okay, if somebody says to you 71%, how do you write that as a fraction? <clears throat> 71 over 100, right? If somebody tells you what percent, how do you write that as a fraction? Be x over 100, right? You don't know over 100, so that's why you write, okay? So let's just go left to right, okay? We'll go 20, 20 is equals what percent and again let's just write x over 100 of means to multiply 80 and just you know 80 if you want to say 80 over 1 because you're multiplying a fraction go right ahead no big deal okay all right well i despise seeing equations with the x on the right and the number on the left i'm just going to completely flip this when i flip this i'm going to do something else as well I'm going to go ahead and say, since, since I, I have 80x over 100, I'm just going to put this as a fraction in front of the x. I like it, I like it to look that way better. So here's my 80 over 100x <coughs> excuse me, equals 20. Okay. All right. And just, the, just pretend you open up your Algebra 1 book, you're doing a problem set, you come to this problem, and they say, okay, solve this problem. Can you do it? Of course you can, okay. So all we've done is taken a couple little steps and create that problem, which is one you know how to solve, right? So how do you clear out the 80 and over 100 in this? You know how to do it, right? What do you multiply both sides by? 100 over 80, that's what you do. You can do it over one here if you want, so 100 over 80. You don't even have to mess with this because you know they cancel, we've got our x. 20 times 100, now again, you can cancel if you want to. Um, I don't know, cancel some zeros, how about that? Uh, you know, then you can go 20 times 10 is 200. 200 divided by eight, if you were just to do the long division, is 25, so there we go. And we know it's 25%, right? 20 is 25% of 80, okay? <clears throat> the other one, uh, the other way will, well, let's just look at it, okay? The other way is the fraction equals fraction way. You don't even have to think. You just write two fractions equal to each other. 
you have four blanks to fill in. You've got to look at that little paragraph and figure out which numbers fill in the blank. You know one of them is going to be an X. So you just need to figure out three, uh, three of those uh, numbers to fill in there. Well, there is a number right here. There's a 20, there's an 80. Now this is the key right here on filling these out. Okay, what percent? Now we already said a minute ago, oh, well, how do you do 71%? 71 over 100. How do you do what percent? X over 100. So let's just do it, X over 100. Okay, my question to you is, since we have those two numbers left, they go somewhere here. It could be 80 over 20, it could be 20 over 80. Well, 20 is less than 80, right? And the number we're looking for, 20 is less than 100% of uh, 80, correct? When we're looking for, we know the answer is, you, if they, you read this problem, it says, oh, he has 20 left, <clears throat> he had 80, oh wait, that's gonna be less than 100%. So which means this number is going to be smaller than 100. We know that, okay? Since this is smaller than that, it has to match up the other two numbers as well. The smaller number has to go on the top, just like that, okay? So we cross multiply now. X times 80, 80X. 20 times 100, 2,000. You can go ahead and cross out these and go 8X is equal to 200 then divide by 8, and if you remember, that's exactly what we did just a few minutes ago, and we got the answer is 25, boom, there you go, okay, all right, let's take a look at um, another pretty similar type here, Bill and Marilee have 75 magic beans, they want to give Leland 20% of them, how many magic beans should they give Leland, okay, well, you tell me, look at Pause this if you need to, and my question to you is, what is the question in here? In other words, not the, not the last question, not how many magic beans should they give them, but what's the other question we're asking? Okay, I'll start you off, okay? Here, what, here's the question we're trying to solve here, all right? What is, and then you fill in the blank. Pause it for a second and see if you can figure it out. Okay, I'm assuming you paused it, <clears throat> okay? The question is, what is 20% of 75? That's what we're asking. What is 20% of 75? That's the question we're asking, right? They got 75, they wanna give 20%. How many should they give? Well, you should be going, okay, okay. Um, um, what is 20% of 75? That's what you're asking, okay? Once you know that, you've gotta turn those little English words and little numbers into an equation. That's your job, okay? All right, so let's do it. What we know would be x, okay? Is equals 20%. You can do, yeah, I mean, if you want to do 20 over 100, you could do that. You know, what the, what the heck, we'll just do it. You could also do 0 0.2, that'd be fine. Of means to multiply. That's 75, you can call it over one if you want to, all right? Well, you know, we can cancel if you want to. 20 over 100, that's just 1, right, over 5. Then we've got 1 times 75 over 5 times 1. There we go. 75 divided by 5, and you do the division, and the answer is 15. <clears throat> okay, so your answer is 15. That's way 1. You might like this second method better, where you just sit here and go, okay, I don't want to mess with all that stuff. I'm just going to go fraction equals fraction and fill in the four blanks. We'll go ahead if you want to, okay? Well, there's a number. Um, there's two numbers, right? This 20% gives you two numbers. How many, that's our, you know, that's our last one. We don't know, okay? Well, 20%, that's the easiest one to do every single time. So just go ahead and go 20 over 100, okay? Now, the question is, um, how many magic beans we're gonna give this guy? Okay, well, is it gonna be more than 75 or is it gonna be less than 75? Less than, right? Because we're given 20% of 75. Well, since the smaller number is on the top of this fraction, then the smaller number has to be on the top of this fraction. So that's what we're looking at. The smaller number is there, so 75 goes on the bottom. Okay, so cross multiply, we get 100x. 75 times two is 150. So 75 times 20 is 150 with an extra zero. So two extra zeros gone, gone. X is equal to <coughs> 15, just like we said. Boom, we got it, okay. 
all right the let's look at this we're going to do percent word problems this is a review so let's look at this what number is one hundred fifty percent more than eight now i want to make sure you remember this more than eight if you recall when we ask questions that say, you know, oh, I don't know, what's 80% more than, we have to add the 100% to whatever we're asking. So if we have a question that says, what number is 150% more than eight? The number we're looking at is not 150. It's 250%, right? So if we go 150% more than eight, that means 250%. Because we have the 100% already, 150% more than that gives us 150 plus 100, which is 250 percent Okay, so here we go. What number, <clears throat> what we're asking, actually asking is what number is 250% of 8. So what number x is equals 150% more means 250%. So, you know, you can write 250 over 100. That's fine. Of 8, because since we're doing more than, that's of 8. So that'll be times 8. And if you do all the math and that kind of thing, that'll be 20. Okay? All right. And again, if you want to do it the other way, where the fractions, you can just go fraction equals fraction. You go 250% because it's that. So you go 250 over 100. Now I need, I've got 8 and I got what number? So which goes where? I got X and I got 8. Which one of those goes where? Well, is the X we're looking for, is that more than eight or is it less than eight? Of course, it's more than eight. Well, just like this is more than 100, it's on top. This will be on top as well to match it. So you go over here, 100X equals 250 times eight. Well, 25 times eight is 200. So that must be that. So two, two, and then X is equal to 20, just like we said a minute ago. Okay, all right, <clears throat> let's look at this one. Bubba and Billy Ray chewed 600 plugs of tobacco this week. Can you visualize that? It's disgusting. Okay. I'm sure you can visualize that. All right. This 600 plugs is 60% more plugs than they did last week. Now, automatically, when somebody tells you 60% more, what percent flashes through your head immediately? 160%, right? So you should... In your head, you should be thinking 160%. Okay, how many plugs of tobacco did they chew last week? Okay, so let's do it again. They chewed 600 plugs this week. This is 60% more than they did last week. So how many did they do last week? So in other words, 600, you can do it this way. 600 is 160% of what? Well, let's just say what number. Got it? Okay. Now let's turn that into an algebraic equation. All right. So 600, obviously, 600 is equals 160%. Blech, okay. 160 over 100. Of what number? Of means multiply. What number? We'll just call it x. Okay. And again, you don't have to do this, but I always do this. I like going left to right. So 160 over 100x equals 600. Okay. Well, you know what to do to clear off the 160 over 100. Matter of fact, you could just, you know, you could just knock off some zeros here. Go 16 over 10. And shoot, you could do that again. You could just do, do it by 2. That's 8 over 5. Right? So to knock this out, you can just say, I'm not, I'm not going to do uh, 8 over 5. I'm going I'm to multiply by 5 over 8. And I'm going to multiply by 5 over 8 over here. So these go away. You just have your x. And 600 times 5 is 3,000. And divide that by 8. And if you were to do that, you would find, just, do, just doing regular long division, it would be 375. Okay. This is a reasonable answer, right? Because... Um, Last week they did 375, this week they did 600. Oh yeah, that's definitely more than they did last week, okay, so that's reasonable, okay. So, let's do it this way. If you don't like that way, fine. You can, you know, kind of look at that equation there or just look at your actual original problem and go, okay, fraction equals fraction. But the key is though, make sure 
when somebody tells you 60% more, you're immediately you go, oh, 160%. So that's what you do. 160%, that's two out of two of your four numbers right there. Your only question is, does your X go on the top or does your X go on the bottom? Well, okay, uh, you know, in this fraction, you have a larger number on top, okay? Well, you have this number left, and you also have, you know, how many, in other words. Or up here, you'd call it 600, and then what number? Well, what we did last week, or what they chewed last week, it was less than it is this week. So the unknown is less than. In other words, in this fraction, the lesser one, lesser one is on the bottom, so this has to be also on the bottom as well. So that has to be X here, and this has to be 600 there. Okay, so 160 times X equals, good gravy. Okay, six times one is six, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four zeros, and you can just hack off a zero here and go 16 times X is 6,000. Now, I don't know if you noticed this. Look at our left equation. On this one, we had 3,000 divided by 8. On this one, we have 6,000 divided by 16. Exactly the same thing except times by 2 each time. But again, you can just go over here and go, okay, 16 into 6,000. Okay. If you did the long division, you would get x is equal to 375 yet again. Okay. All right. So this is really, uh, you know, these. you might struggle a little bit with these at first, but just if you've... If you've got the whole idea of going, okay, as soon as somebody says to me, oh, 82% more than anything, you've got to think 182%. Um, and all you need to do is make up those equations, or if you'd like to do the fraction things, just go ahead and do that. Just make sure your answer is reasonable. In fact, you might even do it wrong. You might, on this one, you might have put something like, oh, X over 600, and you got, you got some, wait a minute, he, how can he have done, you know, uh, more last week? Oh, I did something wrong. If that happens, Take one of your fractions, not both, just one of them, and just flip it, and you'll get the right answer. Do the arithmetic right. So, okay. Alrighty. Thanks a lot, guys. Hope you enjoyed that one.